Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. First on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight. Another North Texas woman is sharing her story of survival after being pulled from a burning car. A lot of you have responded to the story Fox 4 first aired yesterday. Mm -hmm. Claudia Ortega talked with us from her bed recovering from an accident along Highway 80. Ortega says she is thankful for the Good Samaritans who risked their lives to save hers. That story led another woman in a similar situation straight to us. Fox 4's Natalie Felice tells us about the strangers she hopes to honor in the same way. Natalie. Well, Steve Ladina Hill, it's been nearly a month since her car burst into flames right here on this stretch of road. She says she remembers everything that day, especially the two men who ripped her from her car. And I looked up and it's like this semi trailer is just like in front of me. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. 37 year old Ladina Hill still bears visible injuries from the crash she remembers vividly. So I'll be okay as long as the car don't catch on fire. And about that time, the head caught fire. The mother of nine making her work commute from Dallas to Kaufman just before 8 a.m., August 6th. In an instant, a jackknifed raw collar crosses the middle line and barrels right at her. She swerves but can't avoid it. Her car punctures the truck's fuel tank, diesel spills out, and ignites. Her car is burning. She's trapped inside. I was like, oh my God. I said, please get me out. I have kids. I was like, I don't want to die. I was like, please help me. It literally sounded like a bomb was going off, and then tires were just screeching, you know. Doug Finch, a barber from Crandall and former Army medic, was at a nearby veterinary office along with Jeff House of Terrell, seen here visiting Hill later at the hospital. Both men sprinted to her rescue. I just really kind of panicked because I didn't think we were going to be able to save her. You know, in her eyes, just the, the fear and the terror in her eyes. For a split second, it occurred to him the danger he was in, but Hill's life more important. And I was just like, you know what, this thing is going to blow up on us. But, you know, you just can't walk away. You know, I was just like, you know what, if this is it, this is it, I can't, there's no way. The two men were able to pry a door frame open just enough to pull her out. Hill says she'll be forever grateful to the men she now calls angels. Because of them, she'll be there for her own kids and her first grandbaby. These guys, they've got families and they put their lives at risk. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, y'all are amazing because a lot of people would have been like, oh, well, you know what? We tried, couldn't do it, so that's it. Well, Hill was in the hospital for three weeks. She had multiple surgeries. She had compound uh, fractures in her arm, in her leg. She needed pins. Uh, but incredibly, no major internal injuries. She says she is hoping to go back to work in the next couple of months. Steve? Okay, Natalie Shalise, thanks.